They told Magic, you got AIDS. They told him that shit. He don't know shit about AIDS. Any time when Richard did the toy, that was eight million for that. He could have stopped then, but he kept going. The masters kept going. That's what was shared with me. Red Fox could have stopped. Uh, Richard could have stopped. Cosby could have stopped. Mm -hmm. But you don't get in those positions. You don't work that hard, you know. Uh, Cosby's was a matter of, oh, you want to buy NBC, nigga? Really? Yeah, and I have the money to do it. And here's the show. Well, here's what we're going to do with the show. No, I've, I've created all of them. So we got to get rid of him. See, he started rubbing elbows with those people that became threatened by him. Mm -hmm. But someone like Ice Cube learned from Cosby. So now you're talking about this brother that's getting ready to buy 13 TV stations. But it took that time. Mm -hmm. And you had to get with these people. When Magic said he wanted his own team, I got the money. I got other players that want to invest in it. Mm -hmm. We can do this. They told Magic, you got AIDS. They told him that shit. Mm. He don't know shit about AIDS. So you went for it. Okay, I got AIDS. So, I mean, that's like cancer and any other terminal disease. But because it was AIDS, he stepped back. And more important, the investors who was black, the other brothers, they stepped away from Magic. So nigga, we not gonna let you own a team, but you can be a, um, uh, 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 you can work with the team, we can't let you own the team. Because to own a team, first of all, you was a player. Mm -hmm. And that means these college boys gonna wanna play on your team. We can't divvy it up like we've been doing. So the best way to keep, and then if you set a precedence of owning the team as a black athlete that played for us, that's gonna set precedence, we're not gonna have that. That makes a lot of sense. We're not going to have that. Because it, it, it will be a whole nother. It changes. The whole fucking thing changes because now the, the owners of the teams were former players. And we know the game. And we can tell you something on the college level. That's going. We're not going to have that. Mm. And they kept that away from Magic. And they let him coach. You could be whatever the fuck they stipend. Which is why he quit that. Right, because I heard they was definitely putting some on. Um, of course. So that's what they... They see their time better than we do. Mm -hmm. It's coming to an end. And I'm not talking about no diabolical shit. It's just that we're becoming aware. Ice Cube is saying, uh, uh, okay, you don't, you're going to get rid of these basketball players, and he's still good. So we're going to start this three-on-three -three league. I'm looking forward when you have that, where maybe you might, some, might, some of these uh, entertainers might say, you know what, let's bring back the Negro Baseball League. We ain't going to call it Negro Baseball but we... They can still play because if you look at baseball now, they stop letting brothers hear from playing. They went to the minute. They go to the islands now and get the brothers from there. They don't want the Hank Irons and all these brothers from here no more. They don't want that history-making effect no more. So they go to Ortiz, and, but where you're not, you're not really acknowledging we're all part of the same family. And that's done on purpose. But you can't be upset with Jed Clampett. He's trying to survive, too. For people that don't know Je Jeff Clampett? Yeah, hey, white boy. It's the Beverly Hillbillies. Jed Clampett. Oh, Jed's a millionaire. White boy. Okay. Jed Clampett. Okay. Yeah. All right. So in that spirit, you still looking to hit more um, points? I think in, in the spirit of those that I've had the honor of being around, they didn't stop. So it's all the way to the end. I mean, Red Fox till the end of his life. Red Fox died on the movie set that I was on. Still trying to give it to you. Same thing with Richard. Harlem Nights, he was trying to give it to you. Bill Cosby, he was trying to create a TV so that you could have your own stories told. And the proof was all the things that Cosby did which was interesting to me, especially being here where I'm at, all of these black colleges that he gave money to, that the moment they heard what white people said about him, they backed from Bill Cosby. None of them returned the money. They took the plaques away. They said all the shit that the white people, even this, this here N-word, this is white people's narration. Because y'all the ones started that shit. Y'all the ones came up with niggas and all that. So now y'all saying it's one of the most vile words. 
It's y'all that said this shit. Mm -hmm. But it's us that jump on their narration of us as people. And that's the problem right there, you know.